Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building. Eight at eight, shade four five, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, Drama King in the building. We have Ashley Ray in the building with me tonight. Yes. And we got some special guests in the building. I don't know if the warrant checks is gonna come up and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if somebody's about to get shot in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's about to go down, but we got Joseph Secure in the motherfucking building. That's right. Tommy from Power, everybody. That's yes. right. Shane M. Johnson. Cooper Sacks from Cooper Power. Cooper Sacks. Troublemaker. The, the, the troublemaker, horny, wants to right. hit. What's, when it's available, you got to yeah, go after it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that M stands for big. Yeah, he's tr- that's right. Wait, that's what? how you spell big. You're right. No, it's right. He's right. Okay. Shane M. Johnson. <laughs> oh, God. That was mm, bad it's, porn it's jokes. It's M. Like, it's mm, <laughs> It's mm, <laughs> Johnson. He stayed oh going God. after Angela. You know what I'm saying? Even in... Uh, Desperate times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, your character, man, uh, I like your character. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. Thank you. But you are, and you know when I like somebody's character? When I start to hate them. Yeah. That means you're doing your job. Thank you. And, I, and you're really inching up <laughs> to be hating your ass. I'll, t- I'll tell you what. You you know? Know, when, when, when somebody says they hate me, I feel like I, I retweet that shit immediately because I feel like then I'm doing my job. And yeah. I, I revel in that. You, right. You, you know, yeah. And a real talk, you're doing your job. Just like Tariq, oh, I was like, oh, that little motherfucker, if I ever see him. <laughs> like, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. when you really like that, man, you know, that Tommy, you, Tommy has the balance. Yeah. Sometimes you love him, but you was really pissing me off with the Holly shit. Like you're the no. no real talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was pissing me off with Holly. Loose lips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Holly must have had some good coochie, boy, because I mean, it you was, was like really... three mouths in one. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it. No. Send me a picture, bro. But, but let me tell you about I hope this, no guy ever says that about me. even it could be five episodes later if somebody says he goes Holly. <laughs> Don't say her name. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and at least everybody knows, kind of like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't say that. Name. Yeah, right, right. Say. But when you really went after the, what was it, her uncle recently? Like, yeah, her, her uncle. Her uncle. Yeah, who that. Uh, raped her as a kid. I didn't see that coming. She lies about actually. everything. I'm, I'm Boom. very curious though. Like, how close to your actual personality is? Because you're, you're, you're an asshole on the show. Your character oh God, is a thank total. Thank you so much. Right, right, right. Like, so inappropriate. Do you ever read the script and you're like, yo, that is too far. Like, that's too much. Yes. Uh, yeah, like, I do. So it's not even close to you, to who you are. As a, as a human being. Yeah. No. To Matt. No, not at all. But when I see, when I read a script and I, and I see that I get to be a racist. Prick, whatever the hell is coming out of my mouth, right. I, I I definitely relish it because it I feel like it's, you know, I feel like I can put my stamp on it. Right. And honestly, it's a flavor that it's a color that that I feel like the show um, th- that's good on the show. Yes. It's yeah, like trying so. to find your note in an orchestra. If we're all a bunch of you know trumpets, it's a boring orchestra, right? Right. So that's kind of what I try to. So when somebody says, I want you, literally, I have people say, I want, I wish you were dead. I want you to die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. the fucking worst. I hate you. Stuff wow. like that. I immediately, you know, quote that and go, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. SAG, yeah. did you guys see this? SAG Awards, yeah, did you yeah. guys see this? <laughs> I'm hated. All right. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's good. Hey, it's all right. So are y'all cool off? camera like y'all hang yeah, out with me yeah, almost yeah, nobody uh, me and tommy did you just do that <laughs> <laughs> me and joe cooper and yeah we're that cool slay we're that cool yeah that okay that's what's up so <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what's crazy because you know uh the tommy character is where i really got to see your talent like you understand what i'm saying but I know every episode of Bad Chief front to back. Oh, yeah. Like, that mm-hmm. was my shit. So I, I said, man, fuck it, man. Power's off now. Let me go and binge on some old shit. So I'm watching, and I see you. Hey, <laughs> sharp. You was the skin, you was sharp. That you skin, skin Yeah, you was the father. I was like, mm-hmm. why the fuck? I ain't noticed him before. But you did have a boy. And, yeah. and you know, your character was totally... And also, the, one of the things was with Sharp, when I got cast as that, this is before Power, of course, so I, like I'm a nobody, basically. Right. And after they said, all right, we're, they want you for the job, I said, all right, I, I want to take it, but I want to talk to the writer first. And they were uh-huh. like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? <laughs> and I said, look, 
I I'm really proud. I want to take the role, but I, re I would like you to rewrite part of the role. I don't want this guy to come off stupid. Because white racist white people who are stupid to me, I'm not as afraid of. Right. You know, yeah. racist white people who are intelligent, that's a problem. That's scary. Wow. Yeah. And I think that if this man read Mein Kampf and was just like, oh, yeah, that's good. So if you'll notice in the scene when I said to when I say to Demetrius's character at the yeah. end, I say all, uh, all this stuff about you people and this and that. I say, you have to realize where I'm coming from. I'm like, all you people do is steal from this country. Mm. You are a pariah on this country for this reason and that reason. And to me, that's like, this guy's out of his mind and he truly believes that. And this is what he's preaching to all of these younger people. Yeah. So to me, that was way scarier. And they did do that to me. And that's why I felt like this character was pretty impactful, sharp on Banshee. Yo, y'all got to see this shit. Yeah, if y'all haven't, first of all, if y'all haven't watched Banshee, Banshee off the hook. I don't even know how to explain it's fantastic. what, what y'all missed. Anthony Starr, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Everybody in that show is And, and, and somebody month. begged me to watch it and the name threw me off. So once I watched the first episode, and once you you just imagine a fucking criminal doing 16 years in jail, comes home, in a bar, crazy fucking a robbery goes down. He tries to break it up. It's a new sheriff in town. At the same time, he gets fucking killed, and then the dude that just did 16 so. <laughs> looks his phone ringing, and he decides to act like he's the sheriff and takes his idea. He's running the town. That shit was. I said, no, I gotta watch this. But no, nah, that crazy. that shit it's there. fantastic. I gotta go binge watch it. Great, yeah. great, great acting, and and it's a great show. Good, you know, like, love, love to cinema. From the first three minutes to come on, action, yeah, it, action, really? and, and, action. And, and, and Proctor was the fucking dude. <laughs> savage. Proctor. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Proctor. That was y'all. Was y'all was, was y'all affiliated mm, with Proctor, right? Well, yeah. we were like, yeah, like right. his like little minions off, in there. Yeah, off, it's kind of yeah. like like we're working. Like he, he's cool with us. He was kind of facilitating monetarily what we had going on there. Washing this stuff through that uh, fix it shop. Yeah, now nah, that 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 is the truth. But no. Tyson Sullivan, who is a great actor, who was on that show with me, was one of the other guys in my clique. Another great yeah. person. I met a lot of good people. And then I did Power right afterwards. So when I auditioned for Tommy, my hair was pretty short, but you know, coming up <laughs> like this too. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. I think back about auditioning for Tommy. Uh, Shane auditioned for Tommy as well. You did? Yeah, I got. Nah, I, 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 I did. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get it. <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't get that part. <laughs> you got the role you deserved, though, because right. you're playing yeah. the shit out of it. Thank you, very Thank well. You. And that, that's true. I actually, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was when I read the the breakdown of Tommy, I was like, uh, I was like, well, this is a stretch. Right. But I, for me, you know, as an actor, you know, when you're an actor, you just do whatever the hell somebody throws at you. And so I, I brought what I thought I could bring to it. And that's when I met everybody, Courtney and everybody at the show. David Noller, um, Anthony Hemingway. Yeah, all those guys in the beginning. And then like, and then I was at the unemployment office, you know, looking, <laughs> you know, a month later, <laughs> you know. And, and then I uh, I got my suit in the car, changed in the car, and drove to the audition for Cooper Sacks. And that's when uh, when I read the breakdown for this, and it was like this privileged, white, prick, arrogant. I was like, oh, shit, there it is. <laughs> and, Shane, and Shane is not privileged. Shane grew up in a trailer park. Yeah, I I, I mean, I, it's just, it's the way you come across. As an artist, you got to deal with the tools that you're given. Right. And, and his is his beautiful voice. That's right. Yeah. That's but, right. You're, but you're real aggressively, you're arrogantly... Aggressive, like no, and with, with sarcasm. You understand? Well, right. yeah. I mean, I think what you know he's saying is like, I, you know, I grew up in this small ass little town with three stoplights, a far, a little farming community. Wait, with where? Like trucks and it's called. It's in Washington State, but it's the middle of Washington where it's apple orchards and cherries and onions and oh, cows and stuff like that. So, um, so f now that I kind of have owned the f the fact that I have whatever skills I have and the, the qualities that I have as a human being has nothing to do with my history. Like, right. if you met my family, you'd be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> um, and he means that in the best way for all yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for family listening out there, it's because it's just a, it's just, it's you gotta deal with what you got. And, yeah. and when I showed up, day one, when I showed up and I saw him as Tommy, I was like, well, fucking, of course. Right. That's exactly what Tommy should be. You know my man. Yeah. I almost feel like it, when it comes to Joseph, like, did you grow up with a bunch of black people? Because that's, that's the feeling that I, I get. Like, you I were like the with, one white kid. I, who's well, like, no, my, <laughs> my, my clique, my, my crew was mixed, uh, everybody. But, I, you know, I always grew up with black people who loved me. So I, I it was never a thing. It's like kind of like one of those things you learn when you were a teenager. Like, all right. And especially in Chicago, you know, it, it's it's pretty racially divided anyway. But growing up in, in hip hop, in the hip hop world and growing up, you know, in 
really doing graffiti and obviously uh Slay. k slay is a legend um you know i started when i was 11 years old wow and so it was like it was, it was always an eclectic mix of people and running through stuff and the main thing that i didn't have going for me my cousin who's who looks you know renee knows my cousin peter in chicago and he's uh like six two and really handsome <laughs> blonde hair blue eyes and he would always call it the urban curse blonde hair and blue eyes wow and so it was like, yo, you got picked. I mean, we weren't as big as some of the, like, I was small. <laughs> like, right now I'm about 5'10", a little over. But I was probably 5'6", until I was 17. Sheesh. And so I was a shorter guy and, and smaller and picked on a lot and beat up a lot. And being a white kid, you get tested a lot. Yeah. Even by kids who are soft. So you have to start learning who's soft and not soft, not because of the color of their skin. But by the content of their character, character. Mm. Um, so you d and you do, and you look into people's eyes, and you're just like, "I'm gonna murder you." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally, I'm gonna I'm gonna jab you in the throat like Denzel did, and he got game, and then I'm gonna smash your nose in with my forehead. Oh. Okay. And those are the things that you learn being on the street. Right. Mm, yeah, exactly. And it's like you, and I think that some of those things that I bring to Tommy is like when Tommy gets those crazy eyes I was like oh shit I guess I probably did that in the street like oh oh you think you're that bad I had a guy tell me he kept calling me a, uh, this bitch here and this bitch here and I said look he just got out of jail you know, not prison just out of jail he was in <laughs> county for a little while Okay. and he's like you know bitches like you used to tie my shoes in jail and I said alright no, nah, nah, I told you and I smashed this guy. And I'm just like, he took off his shirt and showed his big tattoos, his gang tattoos. I'm thinking, you didn't think you're the first gang member who I kicked the shit out of? Right. Like that all <laughs> yeah. my guys aren't packing right now? Are you out of your, have you lost your damn mind? But I've grown up. I'm 41 years old. Okay. I've been in, I, you know, I did anger management therapy for a long time because my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, it was just like, either you go into therapy or we're, we're done. Oh, shit. <laughs> and so I think I okay. learned a lot of the psychoses of Tommy by actually learning what my fear came from. Right. And I decided not to make Tommy's fear my fear. My fear, my, my anger comes out of fear. Right. So my all my anger management is being the small white guy getting picked on. I'm like, oh, fuck, somebody's going to hit me. I'm going to hit him first. Right. Oh, my God, this is going to happen. Let me do this. So instead of that, Tommy's is just like, fuck everybody. Tommy doesn't give a fuck. Right. And that's doesn't. what I like about him. And that's why he's going to yeah. live. People are like, oh, is Tommy going to survive? I was like, that guy who's like, wakes up every day, today's a good day to die. That's why he's going to live. He can't, right. he can't go nowhere. Only two characters I wish didn't go anywhere so fast was Lobos. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because he was, it's crazy. Like he was a, a fuck nigga gangster. Yeah, <laughs> I, guess, yeah. You know I guess that's the best way to put it. He, he was he, he was Omar if he advanced to that it, level. It, exactly. And then another one was fucking one of my favorite cat was Milan. Oh, oh my yeah, like The that. way he played next to Ghost and security and all that, and then when they tried to kill him, how he knocked their heads off and like, come on. And then when he tried to kick him to the curb, then he was like, you know, like. No, I'm not going there. Like you, you work for me. Like, I agree, that and I love that actor. Cal, 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 Callan Mulvey was uh, just great. I think that the st where the story went with that and why they had to knock him off is because of where the, the Tommy character really started to fall into place with him, and it really was a decision either, you know, Milan or Ghost at right. the point of the, that time. And I think that Tommy has proven over and over again that this loyalty is almost beyond him. He's almost mad at his own loyalty at right. times where it's like, this is not right. I'm loyal to a fault. What the hell am I doing? Yeah. But he's still as he's still that loyal. He's still committed to it. Um, and Tommy, obviously, as we've seen in the show, is the most loyal character in the show beyond every character. Super. But these things that are people's strengths are also their weaknesses. And as his loyalty has proven and will prove again in season five, I guarantee to be possibly his ultimate undoing. You never know. A to day shape four five mm -hmm. street super radio. Keep it locked. I'm gonna play a record. We'll be right back. Call up. Y'all wanna talk the fucking sax? <laughs> <laughs> Cooper sax. <laughs> and we got Tommy, aka Joseph Sakura in the building. A to day shape four five street sweeper radio. DJ K Slade, drama king in the building. Ashley Ray is in the building. Okay. Cooper Sacks <laughs> for power and Tommy's in the building. I, I, I'm, I'm using their AKAs right now. Shane M. Johnson, that stands yeah. for mm. Shane. Mm. Shane. So good. 
Uh, you, so, was your parents a, a, a fan of that movie? You remember when the little kid was like, Shane! Shane oh, yeah, that movie back, Shane. That's like, exactly right. Yeah, see, see I, I figured that, because that's, that's, that's a real name. Yeah, Shane, Shane was a great movie. Yeah, if you haven't I, seen that, I've it's, seen it's it. Like, I, for me, I was, I seen, I, my grandfather made me watch it. I didn't want to see it, but it was on, and you know how you sit there with the grandfather, yeah. like, yeah. But that was definitely classic. But I just remember the little kid at the end screaming the name. Come back. Mama Come wants back. some yeah. action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama loves the taste of it. Come back. You like oh that. Oh, God. It's so, true. It's basically what happens at the end of the movie. That's a different yeah, version of Shane, but like that. <laughs> that's what he that's, says at the end. He says, Mama, Mama needs you. Come back. <laughs> Shane, come yeah, back. No. Come back. And he's riding off with a bullet wound and stuff. That's awesome. true. That's true. That's is what I'm a, like. That's what Cooper Sachs is Western like. that you guys are talking about? Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. I do know the reference now. Okay. No, you don't. don't yes, I do. He don't rode off into everybody. the sunset and nobody knows if he died or not, right? Is that Jack Palance was the bad guy. That's right. Wow. Wow. That's right. Nice. You got a little spit that. What? Old guy, were you with watching that? I I only date geriatric <laughs> fuck, so like I'm not even. It's yeah. like another I'm you, not sweetheart. even ashamed of it. I have Good daddy issues. I'm trying to solve them. So. That's cool. I'm Call 20, me. I'm 20 years away. I'm, I'll hit up your your, your daughter. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. So um, getting back to the power, right? <laughs> Man, um, have you met Camilo Anthony? Oh yeah, many times. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, no, 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 no. Not, <laughs> listen, not being funny or anything. I don't and understand. Lala's hilarious. Lala's like my sister. I love Lala. That's, she that's loves my you back. People. She said this hello today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's family. I even have her rapping on one of my albums in the past. You know what <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? She used to rap. Yeah. I need to hear that. Where is she used that? She used to rap. It's on Street Sweeper Volume Two. Okay, when I was on Sony Columbia, it's on. No, iTunes. I'm gonna tweet that out right now. It's on. It's on. I know. Don't do that to her. She might get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, but I'm just saying. I yeah, know. I met Melo a lot of times, and I think one of the things, uh, one of the great things about power is that, listen, sex is power. Let's just be honest. Right. Yeah. Women, that's power. That's a huge. That 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 has in all of our history as human beings, sex has influenced everything about our our civilization. Right. And I think that in power, and they say anything about that. We show some, we show it going down like that, and yeah. I don't. Some people say some stuff is gratuitous. My scenes have not been. That's for damn sure. But they're intense. They're hot. Right. I, I don't um, need porn those evenings. Uh, <laughs> they're, no, they're hot, and it's a lot of. And it, and I think that Lala and I have we're, we're friends, and that's helpful. My God, that's helpful. <laughs> Because if you don't like somebody, it's much harder to make those things look that right. sexy and, and that hot. But Lala is super sexy. I just pretend I'm Tommy, so he's sexy. And then that's all good. And we just get in like that. But we rehearse that stuff. You know what I mean? It's not rehearsed. as explicit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With like fully clothed and like, yeah. okay, I'll be here. And then at this point, you know, my leg will come around here. I'll grab your hand here. And then my head will be like this. And they work it all out with the angles and everything. The angles, okay. So it's like Mello know, knew all that stuff. He was. He no, no. I was, I was just asking because I know that, you know, some guys be a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know. Insecure? Yeah. I, I mean, yo, I, I would it. be. It's hard. It's I'd be hard. like, yo, did Tommy try to get your number afterwards? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, at first, no, no, he was cool. Okay, cool. But I She'd would be like, no, ask, I, fuck, I actually fucked Tommy I, in I the would, scene, but then jo ask, Joseph but, didn't want anything. But, but you, know what's, you know what's so crazy is that, um, like, I would, like, you know, a few people like, yo, how could you? I was like, niggas acting. Mm -hmm. that, like, yeah. that's part of acting like you can't limit you understand what i'm saying how far you go it's a good excuse damn come on man yeah man i keep trying to ask all the girls to rehearse with me i don't have any <laughs> scenes <laughs> but just in case i'm yeah, like shane is like can we rehearse the uh lakeisha tommy scene i know you're not lakeisha and i'm yo, like tommy yo, but. Shane, <laughs> let me tell you what i think is gonna happen Please. i think somehow some way Angela might give you a little rhythm. Oh my God! I think somehow <laughs> you're going. Asking her for you've been going it's hard for seasons, bro. I, I think you were in, in like real talk. Right now, she doesn't have anybody. You understand what I'm saying? I hope ghosts don't fuck around again. You know what I'm saying? And like, she needs I, to have somebody, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? And then you know who's really getting on my? I'm not fucking with them right now. Tasha, like. Cause like, she hoeing. She like that. No, she like that lawyer. That fuck. That lawyer's a. That fuck don't even dude. look. They don't. That don't, doesn't even go together. It's, it's like a, a, he's a fuck salmon dude, and yo. peanut Savage. butter sandwich. Like Savage. salmon he's and a, peanut butter. That's it, some. That's so delicious. Something look like it goes together. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait it's, to get to no, that. She just fucks with the help too much. Right. You understand what I'm oh, saying? Like yeah. she, everybody's the help. That is hysterical, man. I love that. She fucks with the help too much. She fucks with the help. That's hysterical. That's awesome. Yeah, Sean. Sean, and now it's the fucking lawyer. She. 
fucks with the help. Do you think yo? that's a? Do you think that's a peek into the psychosis of Tasha of the character? She fucks with the help. You know, the possibility <laughs> if she the, the, she he has. The yo, it's the truth uh, though. If she does it one more point, time, point out the lie. That's what I was gonna say. She got one more time. But she right? should, she shouldn't even have one more time though, because so many women are like, okay, he she fucked Sean, I guess. Sean, yeah. She fucked him. She well, Ghost was you know having sex with Angela, but now she no 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 she 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 was flirted with Sean before. Yeah. Right, but she's Hold two on. dudes, and Ghost has only had sex with one woman. And and it was his first crush I, from I the know, neighborhood I, back in listen, the days. Yeah. That's so it doesn't Keep count. It. That's right. It, 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 it counts. Tommy's had sex with four. I mean, it's on the list. And, 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 and no matter what you can say about her, whatever, at the end of the day, she could have stayed a scumbag with y'all and let him go to jail. Oh, yeah. She's she loyal. Could have. She stepped up. It's that she Very stepped true. up. So for that, I think... Ghost deserves to fuck her one more time. <laughs> it's like, it's like a pity thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And look, she's even came to the table with uh, where Ray Ray was at. With, like, come That's on. Yeah, like, yeah, she's, yeah. she's doing a lot. She deserves to get knocked down one more time hard. What I love about the writing of the show, though, is that, like, everybody's so loyal in it. It's like, it's the fun. And I feel like our generation does not know what the fuck loyalty is anymore. But every character on the show, like, displays this this sense of loyalty not you I'm but very every, self-serving. <laughs> everyone else though displays this like really great like you said your character is loyal almost to a fault and i i can't wait to see next season like we can't get any like anything that's happening Why would you even try that? yeah uh, we'll tell you i gotta everything. try i gotta Why try, would you try? Uh, julio, julio was a loyal character too right Yo, they, yo, they did Loyal Julio Ghost. dirty. Yo. So I thought dirty. He was yo, but he, but he had the most honorable death on the show. I thought he was gonna survive. Oh well, at survive least he, had, yo, he almost. We almost he, thought he was gonna. He, yeah, he like he's about to get up. It looked like he without was. that tattoo. Yo, that would be a little. That looked pretty yo, weird. Yo, yo, yo watch too many Jason movies. Never <laughs> know. He wasn't getting up from that shit. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, um, that was rowdy. A little bit. It's a definite great show. Right. And um, what I want to ask both of y'all: Do y'all have any other? Shows coming up. Shane, why don't you hit it first? That? Yeah, well, you know, always trying to diversify, have other things going on to stay current. I, I just did a, a thing on Scandal not too long ago. And okay. then um, and then I have a feature that I just finished about a week and a half ago. You know, just trying to keep things happening. What's the feature? It's called Son of Perdition. Okay. Which we are in post-production on now. Hopefully it will be coming out in the next, you know, six months or something like that. Okay. It's um, sexy. I did uh, two films with Michael Ely. Uh, one's called Jacob's Ladder. Um, it's a it's it's very loosely based on the original. Uh, Michael Ely playing it. It's Michael Ely and Jesse Williams starring in it. And then I did another movie, another thriller with Michael Ely. Uh, me, Michael Ely, Megan Good, and Dennis Quaid, mm. uh, called Motivated Seller. Um, and then I did it. I will have done at least one episode of the new Netflix series Ronald, directed by my friend Carrie Fukunaga. Um, and then I also uh, co-directed and produced my first short film called The Separatists. Wow. Stop He's trying working. to one-up me, bro. That's like too many things. You made me look bad. Yo, Shane. You should have gone first. <laughs> Shane. Yeah. You need to use the Johnson part of your name and kill somebody. That's <laughs> what I'm trying then you'll get some more roles. During <laughs> sex. Yeah. During yeah. sex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be scene. having a love scene and then just finish that shit off right there. Because oh, it's dark <laughs> and I'll get some mileage out of it. He's he talking like some boardwalk empire shit. Sure, you know, I don't care. I don't care. What's oh, the yeah. dude, Jip Rosetti? Like, you know, I, was, I, was in, I was in Boardwalk Empire. Word? Yeah, I was, in the, I was in the pilot episode. I was Han Schroeder, Margaret Schroeder's husband. Get the fuck out of here. and busy. Really? <laughs> you know what? See, you, know, and you definitely, but you know that was a while ago. So that definitely ago. blew past me. But shit, Nucky Thompson, I know that whole chalky, I, I know that whole shit. Me too. And what people don't front. realize that most people didn't re read Boardwalk Empire, the book. The actual part that they deal with with Nucky Thompson, right? The actual guy is Nucky, Tom Nucky, Nucky Thompson. Right? Yeah, Nucky. Yeah. So, um, or, but his original name is Nucky Johnson, right? That's yeah. what they changed it from. So, uh, it's like one chapter in an eight chapter book that's about two hundred pages. So it's a small amount. It's all the look how they stretched it out, though. Oh, they stretched it out, but they did a great job. Yeah, Michael yeah. Shannon, fa a phenomenal. Yeah. Love him. Yeah, he's he was great. It was a great series. Yeah. But uh, Han Schroeder, don't forget, don't forget. Nah, I gotta, go, I gotta go back and check that again, man. Damn, His IMDb some, is lit. Got like. some rolls. Eight 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 shape four five Street Sweeper Radio. I want to thank y'all for coming through, sitting down with us, networking with us. But y'all free to stay. Y'all ain't got us to go nowhere. <laughs> and we got DJ Paul just walking the building from Three Six Mafia. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? 
get cr- is that beast right there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. Is that now? Now, if y'all ever see shouters, yeah. that's shouters, right? Yo, 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 did you see? He's the one who came in at the end and, and fucking with the shotgun at the end of shouters. Yo, that's beast. What's up? I didn't know that. Yeah, he, how you ain't know that? Who's, he, who's, who's that saying? He, he came from. Hold up, bodyguard. First of all, he used to be, you know, he was with Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like, he the bodyguard everybody. You know what I'm he saying? He was the bodyguard on my show for a sex doctor or a sex therapist or something like that the last time I saw you, right? So, yeah, for everybody. No, but I'm saying. <laughs> and he's right next to my bodyguard If y'all right have now. not seen Shotters, I don't know what to say. Have you seen Shotters yet? Joseph, you have not seen Shotters. Next time I come on the show, I will have seen Shotters. Shane. Shane. Have you seen Shotters, yeah, that's, that's my jam. I watch it all the, all the time. <laughs> nah, I, can't, I can't stop watching it. Y'all see, see Shotters. <laughs> One time for the culture. Do it for the culture. But um, uh, once again, keep it locked. DJ Paul walking in the building, 3-6 Mafia. Yeah. Yep. Hip- warning. 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.